Georgia, we know, is a key battleground state. And there's a lot of chatter today surrounding Biden's decision to drop out of the race and endorse Vice President Kamala Harris. Atlanta News First reporter Rebecca Schramm is live at the state capitol for us. And Rebecca, these new developments giving both sides a whole different focus here. Yeah, a lot to talk about, Rick and Joy. Good afternoon to you. From the capital to the far corners of our state, everybody is talking about this shakeup within the Democratic Party. I spoke with one Republican who says she feels sorry right now for her friends who are Democrats. If you have this machine that's making the decisions and not allowing the voters to have their voices heard. Sally Grubbs is chairwoman of the Cobb County Republican Party. She doesn't see much of a chance for anyone but Vice President Kamala Harris to be at the top of the Democratic ticket come November. I think if that ends up being the case, I would love to see a debate uh, because I don't think the Vice President uh, has the skill, the wits, or the ability to debate Donald Trump. Soon after President Joe Biden's announcement that he's stepping down from the race and endorsing Harris, many prominent elected Democrats endorsed Harris as well, including Georgia Senator John Ossoff. Here's what he said this morning at an event in Atlanta. I was pleased to endorse uh, the vice president. She is prepared. She is ready to win. Uh, she has my full support. Uh, I spoke with the president last night uh, and conveyed my gratitude for all that he's done for the state of Georgia. Uh, and I am uh, ready to work to ensure the vice president is successful in November. And keep this in mind, Harris has a lot of connections among Democrats here in Georgia. She has visited our state half a dozen times just since the beginning of the year. Live in Atlanta, Rebecca Schramm, Atlanta News First. Thanks, Rebecca.